Hi friends. You know when this lockdown started, we all faced many challenges. Now one of the major challenges that I'm sure most of all of us faced was not being able to meet people. You know our friends, our family. And you know, after a point, it became very very weird and unbearable to not be able to interact. you know with other people beyond say your spouse and, and after a point how much do you talk to each other right so you know i started looking at other avenues and of course when you start doing that you know my original love affair uh that is books beckoned me okay beckoned me every single moment that i was free okay and all of those characters in those books you know who had been my friends for all my life kept calling me and i rediscovered them so you know i'm sure m- most of us took to books uh, you know in the to uh, to time pass and to uh, entertain ourselves in this lockdown period but what i did okay over the last one one and a half months was rather than reading new books that i had got for myself okay i went back into a journey on of all the good books that i read in my lifetime see the way i do it is okay i have this cupboard uh, at the back right now this is i usually read dozens of books at the same time okay i start dozens of them and then depending on how interesting the book is it manages to finish itself faster or every day depending on my mood or the topic that i want to study i read the other book but i did not touch the new books i have got cupboards and then i've got cartons of books and books on every topic where they are once i've done reading with them they are classified into different sections history geography literature etc etc and they are parked there and then for years if not decades nobody touching them unless if you know somebody asked me about some book etc etc so this time i tried to go through all of those hundreds of books sift through them and try to pick the ones that not only were the best books that i have read but most importantly they shaped me as a person they changed my life so when i did that it was not just about sifting through books i realized i recapped my entire life in books i recapped what i had gone through in life and how and when these books came into my life and how did they change me as a person it was like my life in books join me in this journey if ever a book has changed your life and meant more to you than just an interesting read if it affected you so deeply that it changed you as a person you see this journey took me through all sorts of variety of you can say uh, knowledge it took me all the way back in uh, to the vedas and upanishads and to the emerald tablet and thoth and then to all the major spiritual gurus of the current century name them and i flip through all of them because i have at one point of time collected books and read on each of them in detail it took me through ancient india's history and all the uh, history of ancient india and then medieval india and then uh, greek plays and greek literature and then uh, you know modern world history and then the politicians who were shaping our almost our current times all of it it took me to the greatest of classics of english russian and greek literature to all the way to the cool summer reads or thrillers or fast pace or entertaining or laugh right books that i've read all of them it was extremely tough making lists of books that really changed my life i mean i went from books on mike tyson to ibm so on all of this 
not just the books that I really could select as you know the top five in a particular area that shaped my life but even the others I realize how each of them has added to my life how my life is incomplete without all of them so join me in a journey where I talk about these books and what they meant to me this is not just about reviewing a book this is about reviewing the fact that how a book can change one's life join me on my journey into in pages see the basic point that i wanted to say and i've re- been reminded myself in this last one month is that life of pages is much longer than the human life charles dickens is gone so is aurangzeb but we keep reading about them so the books on them and the books by them are our life and they will be for centuries to come when all of us are long gone there is a double intender here also you see i believe most of us you know we don't really shape history we're not we will be forgotten soon after we are gone so we are like a you know an ordinary person really not changing anything but a book gives us a chance to be like a page in the king's court a ringside ticket to history being made you know where you can actually understand the mindset of an elon musk or a donald trump or a barber or you know the a great spiritual guru that is what a book gives us a chance to feel that you are part and parcel of something phenomenal something that is immortal that is what a book is according to me that's why it's a life of pages join me if any of these books has changed your life join me if there is any other book that has changed your life any book and if you feel that your life is extremely indebted to a certain book i have had a fantastic time over the last one one and a half months i am very sorry if uh the you know the whole visual effect and all is very very jittery and uh, nothing uh, good about it because i'm not really a technology person and i'm i did this whole exercise for my own enjoyment my own rediscovery and then on a lark i felt i need to share this with people i don't know what their reaction will be i don't know if anybody will really be um, enthusiastic about it but i just felt that since i have done this exercise on for myself i should just share it so that even if one person among you gets the same ideas and enjoys this exercise it will be a great 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 experience for me thank you and please like share and subscribe it with as many of your friends as you can and let's try to build on this whole momentum on life of pages thank you